and dingers. Everybody loves to see an absolute bomb. In the world of Major League Baseball, there's plenty of players that dazzle us with their offensive prowess. But on the other hand, others put together highlight reels and captivate fans to their defensive wizardry. And then there's Lorenzo Cain, a master of the outfield who could probably catch a ball while blindfolded and juggling pineapples. Throughout his career, Kane wasn't a gimme at the plate, with a 102 OPS plus throughout his career proving to be just above league average. But roaming the green pastures of center field was definitely Lorenzo's calling. While he would put together several gold glove caliber seasons, it wasn't until the twilight of his career till he truly got the recognition that he deserved. From game saving robberies, no hitter preserving dives, to crashing into walls like the Kool-Aid man. Lorenzo was never afraid to put his body on the line to help out his pitcher and his team. So today, we're gonna shine a spotlight on the gold glover that doing his best superhero impersonation still managed to fly under the radar. Under the radar. Welcome back to Bruce City Baseball. If you're new here, take a second to hit that like and subscribe button for a new video every week. If you've been here before and you're already subscribed, you're the best, I appreciate you. Now, let's get right into today's video. Before we embark on this defensive journey, let's take a look at some of the numbers that are really gonna help you appreciate just how special Lorenzo Kane was. Defensive metrics can actually be a little bit tricky to analyze, so today we're pretty much gonna focus on two of the main metrics of defensive runs saved and outs above average, which are pretty much what they sound like the amount of runs that you save on defense, and the amount of outs that you can make above an average fielder. So in the prime of his career from 2014 to 2019, Lorenzo compiled a total of 82 defensive runs saved, putting him among top outfielders in that span. Kane was out here saving runs with the same efficiency as a superhero saving civilians from a burning building. Lorenzo put up solid career stats in center field, with 70 outs above average accumulated with three straight seasons with 14 or more between 2017 and 2019 helping him rank in the 99th or 98th percentile in those seasons. He also accumulated a total of 136 defensive runs saved throughout his career, with 120 of those coming in the keystone position of center field. But aside from the numbers, Lorenzo really just had a flair for the dramatic. He always seemed to come up with the biggest catches and the biggest moments. Corbin Burns is closing in on the Brewers' first no-hitter since 1987, but Owen Miller drives a shot into the gap, no problem for Lowe. The Dodgers are looking to take an early lead in game two of the NLCS. Well, they need to wait because Lorenzo wasn't going to let this one leave the yard in the first inning. The crew is in yet another tight playoff push in September, battling for a playoff spot with only two games left. You already know Lorenzo Cain is putting it all on the line. Honestly, I could just keep going on and on with all the high leverage plays that Cain seemed to make in the biggest moments, but I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about this one. It's opening day of 2019, the first game that Milwaukee would play at home since their infamous loss in Game 7 trying to advance to the World Series in 2018. The team was entering 2019 with high hopes, and they were in control of their division rivals, the St. Louis Cardinals, for most of the day. On the back of long balls from Moustakis, MVP Yelly, and Ulysses Chassin? On the ninth inning, and the ball was in the hands of the reigning NL reliever of the year, Josh Hader, who's been untouchable and is working with a one-run lead. Then, all of a sudden, Jose Martinez gets into one. But Lorenzo pulls him a tumbo and says, not today, robbing this game-tying home run to end the game. One thing that truly sets Lorenzo Kane apart is his baseball IQ. Seemingly knowing where to position himself before the ball even leaves the bat, then getting a jump on the ball like a track star leaving the blocks. Not really defensively related, but a microcosm for the grit and smarts that Lorenzo played with, Kane showed his baseball smarts on the base pass, always looking for a way to grab an extra 90 feet. Now you might be wondering how a defensive virtuoso like Lorenzo Kane didn't become a household name overnight. Well, it took the world a little time to catch on to his defensive greatness. Despite stellar defense in his time with the Royals, in 2014, Kane was straight up snubbed from a gold glove in center field. Lorenzo was second in the AL in defensive runs saved among outfielders with 22 and ranked third among qualifiers in plays made outside of zone with 95. Yet, Kane wasn't even a finalist for the award this year. Kane got even better the next year in the Royals 2015 World Series Championship season. He fell victim to one of the best defensive seasons of all time when Kevin Kiermaier emerged with an insane 
42 defensive run save season. Despite some injury riddled seasons for Lorenzo in 2016 and 2017, he would bounce back strong, signing a contract to return to Milwaukee in 2018. Here, Kane would flash the leather once again with 20 defensive runs saved throughout the season, actually three higher than the award winner Ender Enciarte. Kane would only trail Enciarte by one out above average with 21 himself, while the Braves center fielder would take home his third consecutive gold glove. But in 2019, Lorenzo would finally get his well-deserved gold glove award on the back of five home run robberies and 19 defensive runs saved, beating out strong competition like Victor Robles and Harrison Bader. Once he got a taste of that gold golden glory, he couldn't get enough, even if that was off the field. Though finally snagging a gold glove award finally brought some attention to Kane's defensive wizardry, it's unfortunate that it came so late in his career. Years of sacrificing his body to go and make a play, compounded by opting out of the 2020 season, the aging Kane was never as fresh in center field after this, though the effort never wavered. Just look at how close he was to making this insane catch in the 2021 playoffs. Lorenzo Kane's impact on the game goes far beyond his personal accolade. His defensive brilliance set a new standard for outfield play in Milwaukee, making the impossible seem routine and turning every inning into a spectacle. He wasn't just a defensive maestro. His work ethic and passion for the game inspired those around him to strive for greatness. And his infectious smile, well, that's just an added bonus. Plus, did I mention he's got three kids? Does doesn't mean he's taking it easy on them though. No. And let's not forget the key role Lorenzo played in the Kansas City Royals World Series run in 2015. His defensive heroics saved runs and changed games, making him a true fan favorite and contributor to the team's overall success. Although Lorenzo Kane's defensive skills might not have made as many headlines as his offensive counterparts, his impact on the teams that he played for was undeniable. He left a lasting legacy in both Milwaukee and Kansas City that means more than these numbers in a war. And he reminded us that sometimes the greatest moments happen when you're least expecting. And that, my friends, is the story of Lorenzo Cain, the defensive maestro who made baseballs that were seemingly lost over the wall forever reappear to the dismay of many sluggers. Too bad he wasn't a character on the Sandlot because maybe this wouldn't have happened then. The bees got it! You're dead as a doornail, Smalls. You're dead as a doornail, Smalls. Lorenzo's numbers speak for themselves, but it's the jaw-dropping plays in the most intense moments that really capture the essence of his greatness. So as we wrap up this celebration of Lorenzo Cain's defensive genius, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more exciting baseball content, and it really does help grow the channel. Also, I wanna hear from you down in the comments below. Do you have a favorite Lorenzo Kane highlight reel play that I missed? Or maybe you just agree that yeah, Lorenzo could catch a ball on the outfield blindfolded while juggling pineapples. With the tip of the cap to Lorenzo, once again, thanks for watching baseball fans and I'll catch you next time.